everybody welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts. Rachel here, hope you're all well. So I thought I would do a quick little video today to share with you all of all of the wonderful goodies that I have come back with from our retreat that we had on the weekend. So many of you will know we had our spring inspired spring retreat on um, Friday to Sunday this weekend, just gone. Um, we went to stay at the Elim Conference Centre in Malvern Hills, which is just down the road from Worcester. Not in Wales, but just over the border. Um, so just up from Herefordshire. It was absolutely beautiful there. Um, the weather was glorious the day we arrived, actually, which was quite unusual for this time of year because we've had lots and lots of rain. But we did actually have lovely blue skies and the sun was out and it was actually quite warm uh, when we first got there. Um, we had a lovely evening, we had a lovely meal there and then the first thing that we did then, because um, we were waiting for one of our ladies to arrive, Liz, she came all the way from Northern Ireland so she got on a plane and then she got on a train, bless her. So um, we had our meal, we waited for her to arrive and then we did our swap. So <clears throat> what we did at our last retreat and the one before that was everybody made one thing and then we swapped them around. So we talked at the last one, we said, well, wouldn't it be nice if we all gave each other something? So we decided on um, a plan for a mass make, except I couldn't remember the name of it when I did the uh, schedule. <laughs> and everybody thought I was putting on a whole new event. But that's okay, you know, you roll with me, you roll with me. You never know what's going on. So um, we all went round and um, everybody was like, they've all been a bit shy, I think. We like, How do we start? So I was like, oh, I'll go first. So I went round and just gave everybody one of each of the things that I'd made. So what I did was I made them all a signature and a journal cover so that they could put all of their mass make items in there together. And that was obviously my intention as well. I wanted to make a nice, simple journal while I was there that I could keep all my bits and pieces in. So while we were doing the mass make share, um, I also received some other lovely gifts too. So I'm going to show you my other gifts and then I'm going to show you my mass makes and what I did with them. So the first thing that I was given from the lovely Steph, my very good friend over at Hilltop View Journals, um, she had my birthday present with her because obviously it was my birthday a couple of weeks before um, and she brought that with her. So I just wanted to share with you very quickly um, what she would bought me because I was over the moon. So of course, can't go wrong ever with a beautiful set of William Morris. I had seen these as well um, at Christmas time. I can't even remember where I'd seen them. Um, but they sadly didn't make their way into my stocking. But oh, look at these, look at these little soaps. I can't begin to tell you how delicious they smell. That's why I'm going to position them around my room, I think. So whenever I come in, I can just smell. Oh, they're lovely. And all our favourite patterns on them. Do you know what? I actually haven't seen that one before. That is gorgeous, that one there. Um, but I do love all of these patterns here. And it just smells so divine. And what a lovely, lovely little box. She knows me so well. And then she had made for me... She purchased this, I believe, as a digi kit, and she'd put this together for me, which was very kind of her. Let me show you. And inside are two sets of cards. Ah, oh, trust me, Rachel, I would open them up back to front. Um, one has got a set of writing prompts in, so all different uh, prompts for writing in a journal. And the other one has got a set of creative prompts. Oh, there's the other little tag. I wonder if I don't know that. There we go. And she's popped some of her lovely doodles in for me. Um, I mean, look at these, aren't they amazing? So I'm going to share those with you as and when I pull them out. But I absolutely love those because um, it was just really thoughtful because I, I've been having some problems recently with creativity block. And it was just so lovely to have something given to me that will, oops, help me with that. So, yeah, I just love these. Aren't her doodles the cutest? So that was another one of the gifts that she gave to me. So I was very, very grateful for those. And like I say, the fact that she's made them herself from um, a kit. So, she, you know, it wasn't like a two-minute job. Um, and then, oh, my goodness, you talk about lovely smells. You should smell these. There's a lot of smelling going on. You guys. It's just like a scratch and sniff video, isn't it? You have a sniff. Oh, let me tell you, these smell delish. So these are draw liners. <laughs> I can't stop smelling them. You know, like... Um, like, re say talc. People don't buy talc, do they? 
But when I was a kid, my grandmother always used to have um, a, a little round tub in her bathroom. Well, actually, she had a glass jar. She'd be posh, my grandma, um, with a puff thing in it. <laughs> and you'd get out the bath and she'd dry you off and then she'd say, right, stand still. And then the puff would come and she'd plaster you with this talc. Oh my gosh, I think we inhaled half of it. But, oh, it always smelled like that. It was lush. It always smelled really nice. You don't see that anymore. People don't use talcum powder today, do they? Do they? And they come out with something years ago and say that they, it was actually bad for us. And Oh, well. <laughs> well, I'm still standing. Let me tell you, my grandmother plastered me in the stuff head to toe, so she did. But um, And Steph laughed when I saw this because she and I were both very excited about the fact that it was a policy folder. So beautiful envelope there. And then, last but by no means least, she also gave me this absolutely stunning gigungus book of um william morris prints but if you look because obviously i can't open them out and show you on the, the thing it's not in the space um they're in there like that look and then you'll pull them out and they'll open out into a full i don't even know what size that is uh well 19 and a half inches by 27 and a half inches obviously but you know what i mean is it a1 perhaps so basically you pull a sheet out and it's four times the size of that but look at these gorgeous gorgeous papers in here and she, she laughed because she said oh you know what do you think i'll do that i said well hold them obviously <laughs> well i mean that is stunning what else are you going to do with just such lovely lovely william I, and i looked and i said oh no i will try to use them and i'm shaking my head thinking i'm probably not going to use these for a while they're going to just sit in pride of place on my lovely new shelf system where i put all my goodies so they were from the lovely Steph. So thank you, Steph. I really, really appreciated those lovely birthday gifts. Right, let me move those a sec. Okay, so I've just like caused a mini avalanche by the side of me then. Okay, so the next lovely gift that I had was from the gorgeous Jez over at Nigeza Creates. And she made me this beautiful, beautiful card, which I loved very much. And I'm going to pop that in there. This was my lovely... Uh, I think it's a photograph holder, but it will double up as a card holder I received from my lovely children on Sunday, which was such a nice surprise because, of course, we were at the retreat and the location we were at is where my um, eldest goes to college. Oh, my goodness, stuff is like just falling now. OK, so look at this gorgeous, gorgeous, cutie, cutie, cutie little journal that she made for me. Isn't this just delish? And I'm not sure I'm more overjoyed by the um the new journal, the bag, or this lovely little um paper clip. So I'm gonna just the bulldog clip rather and just show you very quickly some of the beautiful bits and pieces that she's popped in here for me. Um she always brings us a lovely gift, Jess. She's so thoughtful. She brings one for me and one for Bella. Um and it's just such a pleasure spending time with her. Um and she also did a workshop for us this time, which I'm going to tell you more about later. Very exciting and very inspiring and Steph who was sitting next to me she was just carried on she could have carried on for the next two days I think because she was so inspired by what Jez had brought oh my gosh look at that tiny little doily there that is so delish how cute is that and then we got a little um envelope here oh how cool is that look oh and there's something inside oh, that is so cute I love it I love it it's so cute so I'm going to assume that you've bound this yourself, a few chairs, because this is what she must have done, because you don't get books with that in it, do you? Have you got... I, I didn't think to ask her if she's got a... Is it a cinch? Is that what they call it, that does this? I don't know. I could be just talking a load of nonsense now. But if I continue in this authoritative tone, I sound like I know what I'm on about, and you'll all be convinced, won't you? Yes, there's Edith Holden, look. She's definitely done this herself. <gasps> Well, obviously she's done it herself. You know what I mean? The binding and everything. Oh, this is just so lush. Oh, look. Gosh, I wouldn't even have noticed that was on a separate page. And she stamped these little leaves here. Oh, I just love it. It's like a real little botanical, and I love these paper clips, a real botanical journal, as opposed to a pretend botanical journal, of course. <sighs> Rachel, honestly. I'm sorry, my head is a little bit fried. I've been having fraught fights with my printer for the last two days i have given up and i have ordered a new one now I, ca I can't begin to tell you how frustrating it is trying to get ink out of hp nope i'm not doing it anymore it's all right if you only want the everyday but the minute you want something a little bit more they just just won't can't get hold of them can't get more ink 
So I'm changing to an eco tank. So I will update you and let you know how I get on. Um, but yeah, I wasn't impressed. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. Isn't it just gorgeous? Look how she's got all the colours matching and everything as well. And these cutie little labels. Oh, this is just stunning. I had a quick look while we were there, but not a thorough one because there was just so much going on. Um, so I thought, I know, I'm going to have a look with you guys. Look, she's put writing spots in there. Oh, this is going to sit pride of place on my little shelf. You know that, don't you? Yes. Oh, yes, they said. In the room that you promised to show us that you haven't yet shown us. I know. <laughs> it's a tip in here. There is no way I am showing you around my room this week. It is a pigsty in here. My craft bag is in here half emptied. There's just kits strewn everywhere. That's vellum. That's beautiful. Uh, it's just chaos in here. Absolute chaos. But that's okay. And then we have another one. I love this stamp. It's like you've used an actual leaf. Have you used an actual leaf to do that? That is lovely. Oh, I got an itchy eye. Sorry. There we go. She's so patient. I don't know how she has the patience to sit and work with such dainty, delicate stuff. I'm a little bit, you know, fingers and thumbs to work with something so cute as this. But, oh, this is just lovely. And I love these papers she's used as well. Really, really lovely. Lots of lovely botanical pages in here too. Oh, thank you so much, Jess. It's really uh, kind of you to think of Bella and I. And it's just always such a treat and such a surprise when you bring us something along like this. Because, um, of course, the treat for us is you bring in yourself. So there we go. That is um, Jez's um, mini journal. And I'm going to pop that on there so I don't lose it. Because it is super cute. And that is going to go now up on my shelf along with her lovely card. It is beautiful. So that was from Jez. So just to share that with you guys. Didn't receive just one little journal i also received another mini journal it's all these surprises things i just wasn't expecting so the lovely phyllis phyllis joseph she is one of our um admin team in our facebook group she is also one of my uh, design team members she does um promote stuff for us on facebook and on her instagram and she made uh, for Steph and myself two gorgeous scrappy little journals these are really just gorgeously authentic junky journals and I just love it um, and of course she was being a bit of a rascal because she put two little surprises inside for me um, well, I will show you the one now but she she was wetting herself laughing like, what are you laughing at <laughs> until I got there um, so I'm going to give you a little whistle stop tour look at these beautiful bits and pieces she's put together here with all real ephemera in there as well just lovely um and then you can take this out of here so we've got a lovely little journal card there one of my pages i think it's the nana's roses kit i think oh there it is so she was giggling her head off and i thought what's she laughing at look what she's done we had a conversation a couple of weeks ago in the admin group that's me by the way for anyone who was, was unsure why there's a photograph of a child in my book <laughs> Um, and the, the my admin team were putting baby pictures of themselves into the admin group. And then me over here, <coughs> being cheeky as I am, said, Oh, I'm sorry, ladies, I don't have a black and white photograph of myself to share. Because <laughs> they were all putting up black and white baby photos. And I said, well, I'll send my colour picture. They didn't have black and white in my day. So she's immortalised me now in black and white. And she put me in a journal. <laughs> oh, she's a scary wag. It was quite funny. It was funny. But um, that did make me giggle. But in this lovely journal, she has put all the way through lots and lots of lovely little motivational verses for me that she has herself sat and typed out on her typewriter. So all the way through, look, these all these little um, what are they? affirmations. Is that the word? Positive affirmations. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I just love it. It's just really, really this is like a ruby and pearl kind of journal, this is, with all these little extra... Look, there's even the elephant in there. The elephant in the room. No, it's not in the room, it's in the journal. I deserve my love and my time. Ah. Everything about this journal is absolutely gorgeous and just cute and I love it. It's just... It's really lovely. And it's even more lovely because it's been made by Phil. So it's nice to have something 
uh, to treasure. So I just felt b bad and I could see Steph's face as well. Cause I was like, oh my goodness, I should have made something for you. But she just took the time to sit and do this for us. So I'm so grateful. Um, like I say, all the way through, there are all these beautiful little... Um, uh, oh, look, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and, and they love these little scrappy um, altered paper clips that she's done. There's just so much to look at in here. Um, little notebook, be your beautiful self. Someone with me to write my little notes. I choose to be happy. And then... In here, writing paper there. Just lovely, just so much to see in here. Um, and then behind here is um, this lovely heart. And then also this envelope with more writing paper in there. It's just so much to look at. I am enough, what's the stamp say? Flowers bloom, oh, we're flowers bloom so does hope i can see it now i couldn't read that at the retreat because the light was not very good over my over my eyes obviously over my eyes oh, rachel what are you talking about not wearing that way didn't it there we go and i love this it's a little string belly band very cute and i love how it's on strings as well um the whole thing is just so tactile and lovely and there's just so much to look at um i really really love it i've never made a journal like this before and it's actually quite inspired me to have a go be happy oh she's got my bee in luck all is well keep calm another fall another turned page <laughs> I like it another lovely heart i am strong powerful wise and creative hmm. somebody tell my kids that <laughs> the wise bit you know the flowers bloom so does hope i choose to be happy there's a little journal card there. i like that little tuck they cut on the bias that's that's very interesting. And again, some more of these lovely scrappy little altered paper clips. She's done their like Franken paper here. The earth laughs in flowers. Little tickets in here. You carry so much love in your heart, give some to yourself. Aww. And we've got another little heart here. There is so much about me that is lovable. Another little scrappy cluster. I love the way that she stapled these on. They, they're just like, yeah, they're just fantastic. So effective. Find the joy in every day. How cute is that? <laughs> it's me in my pyjamas, that is. And she signed it. So important to sign your, your projects, guys. There we go. And there's me again. Pride of place at the back. Strong, powerful, wise and creative. Little girls visit the country, the country garden. I love it. That was just so special. Thank you so much for that, Phil. I will treasure that forever and ever and ever. That's going to go up on my shelf. Okay, guys, what else do I have to show you here? Right, well, also then, on Saturday, we had special guests come to spend the day with us. Uh, the first special guest that we had come was uh, the lovely Angela Kerr. She came and did a workshop with us in the morning. Um, a workshop at which we all created one of these. I'm very, very proud of my lovely altered envelope. Um, so we sat and watched her uh, create one and then we all had a go and she brought the whole kit. Everything was done ready for us. She'd even cut out the little circles for everybody. Everything was just done you know, all we had to do was literally assemble it together. So even down to the little flowers were in um, a little bag and everything. Um, she bought brads for us. And then inside then is my tag, which I was going to stitch around the edge, but I don't think I will. Um, so she showed us how to make this lovely altered envelope, um, which was actually <laughs> far more challenging. <laughs> For a group of craft ladies and it should have been i think angela was probably ready to pull her hair at the time we all finished because we were all like how do you do that again so yeah what should have been the simplest of steps actually took a little longer i think than she'd possibly planned for it to because we were all being a little bit um yeah, we were all being a little bit not with it, I think, that morning. But um, we got there in the end, guys. We got there in the end. And I'm very pleased with my lovely envelope. And that's ready now to go into my collaboration journal. But she also brought me goodies, which 
which was very exciting. Now, she was a bit naughty, was our Ange, because I was going to keep them all beautifully wrapped to open them up and show to you. <laughs> but she wasn't having any of that. She was like, come on, open your stuff up, open it up. Let's see what you have to think. Have a look, open it up. I was like, but I want to do a, I can do a reveal. So I, I'm going to open them, but they're not as tidily and as neatly wrapped as they originally were because Angela's daughter, Paige, spends a beautiful all of her time wrapping them so beautifully um and she does such an amazing job of it but i would hate you to think that i obviously i've just slung my slung i've placed my trims back in because i've had them out and used them but all of this was packaged really really beautifully um so angela brought for me um look at these beautiful fabrics now these lovely lovely fabrics were out of her monthly subscription box that she does has done this month to go with the garden kit and how stunning are they and then this one here this is her design those of you that have bought and printed the kit already will recognize this lovely page um and she's had this done as a, you know her own fabric for us to use and there's a piece in there big enough then to use for a journal cover so that's that in there beautiful beautiful fabrics um and i think they came wrapped in this lovely lovely tissue yes they did so that was the first bundle then in the second one and um, this one here and it's the paper bags i just love the paper bags they're so scrummy um we've got this lovely uh daisy trim so there we go daisy trim in there and in here, in this lovely vellum bag is a gorgeous stash of the most perfectly matched coloured buttons. How cute are they? And they will go with our um, garden kit, the garden store. Because you know there's a collaboration starting this week, right? You have heard about the collab, I hope. I hope so. You watched my last video? It's all about it. And then in this one here, again, these were wrapped beautifully. It's just I've been using them today. Um, I wanted to make a, a tag to send to Julie, Camellia Crafts, with her kit order. And I cut some of this off the lovely... Uh, trim off here to go on the top of my tag so you've got all these beautiful ribbons stacks and stacks and stacks of lovely ribbons here um so you can top your tags with them or whatever you wish to use them for to your hearts and i think that one is my favorite there that is quite unusual i've not seen one like that before that's really lovely that is um i love them all but oh i see this they're in three colors oh well it isn't so unusual now then is it there's three of them <laughs> silly me sorry but i know they are just lovely um, and then I could say you've got the lovely green gingham there. Um, this one is lovely too. They're all lovely, but this one is particularly lovely. I really like that with the leaves on. So that was quite striking. Oh, sorry guys, I just flicked you in the head then. And then by no means least, we then have, oh, this is the one I tipped them all out of, um, these beautiful like lace style trims. Um, so we've got this one here, this one here, and this one here. And they're all wrapped so neatly. This must take hours, days, in fact, days and days and days for them to do all of these. Um, and like I say, I know that um, Angela's daughter, Paige, she works with her and does all of the prep for her lovely uh, monthly kits. Um, so, yeah, just say a big hi to Paige. Thank you very much, my lovely, because you are doing an amazing job working with your mum. And we're all very grateful for your attention to detail. She's a very talented young lady, is Paige. There we go. And we've got this one here and then this one here. Apple doesn't fall very far from the tree, obviously, does it? Because our lovely Angela is also very talented and creative. So two very creative ladies in that house. And I've used this trim here. Oh, there it is there. I got it out when we were at the thing because I used some of it on my little... Um, what's that? An altered envelope. Right, so I'm going to just pop these back into the bag. Or I will lose them and they will disappear and then I will cry. So, while we were at the retreat, <laughs> Angela has now coined a new expression amongst us crafters. We're calling her Angela the Enabler because she hadn't been doing her um, 
sorry, I'm going to stop rustling. She hadn't been doing her tutorial for five minutes when we were all on our Amazons on our phone um, ordering stuff. So the first thing that she pulled out while she was doing her work um, was the most beautiful um, crocodile in pink and rose gold, I hasten to add. So we all went <gasps> in a collective gasp. And then several of us trotted off to Amazon to purchase one of these gorgeous uh, crocodiles. I like my stuff in pink and I even love it even more in rose gold. But I hadn't spent my birthday money. So do you know what? The other one kept playing out. So I thought, well, I'm going to give this one a go. So that's my new treat to myself. My lovely crocodile. I like to say I got that from Amazon. And she also uh, recommended to us as well. And I just wanted to show them because thankfully they came today. And when they came, I did have a little giggle to myself. Because, oh, bear with me a second. Let me just tip that over there. There we go. Um, while she was doing her tutorial, she had these gorgeous um, art glitter glue tip toppers to go into the, keep it open. So she told us where she'd gotten them from and they came from Handcrafted by Audrey. Um, I think that was her Etsy name. I'm sure that's her Etsy name. Um, and it turns out when the parcel came that Audrey actually only lives like five miles down the road from me. She lives in Newport. So how small a world is that? Because looking at the address on the back thinking, that's down the road. I think I was more fascinated at first though by our new stamps. Look at these. It's the first one I've seen with the king on. But yeah, who's still not very well, is he? So, you know, sending him our best. Um, and she also sent me these two lovely things here. So if anybody is looking for um, art glitter glue tip toppers especially if you're in the uk perhaps because obviously it's a bit nearer for you um i had these two lovely ones come today uh from handcrafted by audrey and that was on etsy so if you want to go and check those out guys and i'm firmly blaming angela kerr for that because she recommended that lovely lady's shop and off we trotted steph and i <laughs> oh it sounds so much better when i say it like that doesn't it not Oh, I just decided I was going to go spending more money on craft items. No, but genuinely, I I was sat there for a good, like, well, I don't know, 10 minutes trying to unblock my glue. And I said, I'm fed up with this. So she, it caught my eye. OK, you're going to ask me next, why have I got a chocolate cake on my desk? Um, the reason I have a chocolate cake on my desk is just to let you all know it was Dan's birthday yesterday. So we're celebrating Daniel's birthday yesterday and today. He turned 14. Happy birthday to Dan. Um, yes, very exciting and, oh my goodness, they're all just growing up far too quickly. Okay, so I'm going to share with you now my bumper journal. What a treat this was. Um, now this is the journal that I put together with all of the fabulous, amazing gifts that I had from our ladies at the retreat. Um, so this had been my plan all along was to make this little scrappy journal and I could then place everything that I was given into it so I didn't lose it because I would have lost it otherwise I'd have come in I'd have popped it into my in tray and there it would have remained until heavens knows so he, here are some of my gifts I'm I'll point out a name on there if it's on there but if it's not on there I'm not going to say who made it because I'm going to get it wrong or forget I know I am um, but I did go around and ask them all to write in the journal and to re-sign their name on anything if it couldn't be seen so this lovely uh, crochet coaster here was made by um barbara who is emma's mum um and she came and joined us for the first time this time which was lovely to meet her um and she gave us all one of these lovely coasters so that was my first gift then um i had these lovely oh let me show you these this is what bella made for us all um sorry i should have taken out the bag slow stitch gift of course because mum's not been doing her paper crafting so much at the moment but look she made us all these super little cute um little slow stitch birds little scrappy birds aren't they cute so i'm gonna hang mine up onto my little uh board so yeah and she put a little made with love from bella on there but aren't they cute oh i just love them cheap 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 um then i had a a, a these look what they called fabric clusters there was four on there they were from brenda i'm sure they were from brenda um and then i had 
the most loveliest, scrummiest. Now I'm going to open this now because I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to keep it nice and how she'd rolled it up. But these were from Phyllis. Now I was a bit cheeky because I had two. Um, oh, and she managed to put a name on there too. Well, it fell. Uh, Phyllis worked really, really hard on these for like weeks in the lead up to, she decided she was going to do um, little snippets for everybody. And my goodness, she outdid herself. These are just stunning. So we saw some sneak peeks. Oh, look at this. Um, I just can't believe much work has gone into this. Like I say, I know she was working on these for weeks. Um, and they are absolutely gorgeous. I just love them. The buttons on there. Look, she's got a stamp on there. So that was the one. Um, how did I end up with two? Well, she had some spare and then she went round and she was like, oh, there was a ladybug. You like the ladybug? And I was like, oh, I do like the ladybug. So I kind of said, can I have that one too? And she was like, yeah, go on then. So she gave me this one too. So I've got a little hand me the love with a little ladybug on there because I love a ladybug. And then we open him up. Oh, look, the beautiful ribbon in there. Oh, look at this. Spring has sprung. Wow, wow, wow. These are amazing. Oh, look. Just amazing. Blooming lovely. It is blooming lovely too. I love them. I love them so much. And I just love the way that she'd wrapped them up for us as well. Um, so she had a whole little box of these um, that she took around and everybody had one, of course. Um, and like I said, we did have one um, over spare. And they, everybody was a bit confused. So they all had like two spare. I was like, well, don't forget yourselves. And we went, oh, yeah. And then, of course, um, she very kindly gave me um, an extra one. So I'm very grateful and very honoured. Um, and I can now put that up onto my little shelf. And I can keep that forever and say, Phyllis made that. Yes, I will. So there's that one there. I'm going to just quickly tie that back up. And then um, this one here. Oh, they're just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I love them. So imagine doing 20 of those, mind. 20 of them she made. I mean, you know, it'll, it'll take me a week to get one done. That's just so much work. She must have worked like an absolute Trojan. Um, and it shows because they really are just stunning. So, yeah, we love those. So thank you very much for that, Phil. Um, and then I'm going to show you now what's in my lovely journal. Where I think I've shown you everybody's bits that aren't in the journal. So, yeah, everything else should be in here now. So this was wrapped up, um, this lovely little tassel, and I plunked that on the end of my journal. Um, that was wrapped up in a gift, I believe, from Lucy. Um, and then I've got this lovely little button with the thing on the front. That came out of a, um, and had a little pot of joy. She went around with all different things in it. We had a, a, like a lucky dip with that. Um, Ronnie made this beautiful little uh, file folder for me to, a little ephemera folder rather, stuffed full of loads and loads of bits of ephemera in there. All sorts of bits and pieces. Um, a little belly band in there. I think that opens. And then, if I remember rightly, because she did show me this, you open it up. And then, yes, I think this pulls out. Does it pull out? Yes, it does. There we go. I was afraid to do that then. It's caught in a bit of glue. Right, bear with. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whew! You know that feeling you're like, am I supposed to pull on this? There we go. So that opens up like that. Look. And then you can write on both sides. I love that. I thought that was super, super cute. Um, I'll come back to do that up in a minute. Oh, look. I didn't see the flower on there as well. It's got a journal card in there, a vellum pocket, and then a, a flower. And then, uh, yeah, that's just absolutely gorgeous. So that was from Ronnie. And she even did a little tiny love Ronnie on the top there as well. And then inside, so I've put one of the pages in from my garden story kit. Another one of the lovely little snippets on Brend. And then we've got this gorgeous pocket from Liz. So this has come all the way from Ireland. And that was my biggest surprise of the weekend was I was expecting her to have a broad Northern Irish accent. And she didn't have an Irish accent at all. She was not originally from Ireland, <laughs> which was quite bizarre. And I was like, oh, my goodness. But she was lovely. And we all had such a lovely time meeting everybody. Um, this is a lovely scrappy cluster from the lovely Steph. Um, let me just pull that down there. Put that pretty, pretty little butterfly on there. And that lovely envelope there was out of Emma's um, pot of joy. I'm going to stick with that. I like that saying. 
And then uh, Carol, I believe. Did you do this one for me, Carol? I hope so, because you signed this page. So I got them all to write a little message then for me in my journal. So I now have um, lots of lovely memories of all of the people that came and what they enjoyed most about the retreat. Oh, look at these cute little bunnies. And I love this flower. Um, and then I had this lovely patchwork, um, patchwork pocket from Christine. Um, and I think that one, I think, might have come out of Emma's pot as well. Maybe. I might have got that wrong, though. I'm not quite sure. Because there's no name on the back, guys. Come on. I nagged them all about this. I was like, make sure you sign your work. I want to know who made what. Um, and then I've got this lovely little tab uh, scrappy cluster thing here, too. That's very cute. And then these are just some pages. Oh, and this as well. Love this. This is another one of those, similar to the one that was in there. Oh, I know who made this. This was Marie's mum, I think, who made this. Isn't that cute? I love that. That's just so cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. There we go. So let me just do that back up. Um, oh, guys, I'm probably going to get some of these wrong now, aren't I? I hope not. Let me just turn the page. Oh, fingers and thumbs. They do like to show off all their work. Yes, it was. It was Denise. I got it right. That was Marie's mum. She'd be lovely. And then I had this lovely fabric flip from Christine as well. So I just... Oh, there we are. See, she signed me by Christine. And I just put a little bit of scrappy lace across the top. Made it a fabric flip. Um, Liz made this lovely pocket for me this uh botanical pocket because we went along with a theme like a, a spring theme because obviously it was a spring um retreat and then bella my favorite thing at the retreat was not having to cook really mum really <laughs> i love it i love it the food was lovely the food was really lovely in all fairness, we were stuffed. And the lunch, the breakfast was a cooked breakfast. And then lunch then was like loads. I had a jacket potato and tuna the first day. It was gorgeous. And then on the second day, we had a roast dinner. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Guys, please don't be expecting that at the summer retreat. You'd be lucky to have a salad, I think. Um, and then another lovely little pocket here. Um, and a little scrappy cluster there. Um, I didn't put anything in the middle. It's another lovely scrappy cluster. With that from Brenda, and she sent my book for me there. Um, and then I had this one too. Isn't that gorgeous? And this lovely um, envelope. And that was from Marie. And this was a, um, a botanical envelope. Look, that she's got a book page on the inside. And then she stamped this lovely bit of paper here, which was fabulous. Um, and yeah, everybody just really, really enjoyed themselves. So it was it was it was just a lovely lovely weekend and i was just super relaxed i felt super relaxed anyway i've been a bit stressed at the last two but no no stress it was just great well obviously i made an entire journal i was very pleased with myself um and that's from lovely phyllis um and then josephine and this is so cute i love this so you've got a little um drop down there look so i hope you guys get some ideas from these this lovely journal full of gorgeous things and then in here is a tag just for you and then um there's a little uh circle that she's put behind there and of course i've stuck it down in a way that i've got a um a, a tuck spot behind there as well um and then i had this lovely uh pocket here too and i did stick that one right down because i didn't want anything coming off um and then i had this lovely um bookmark I'm sure that was from Jez. Yes, it was. And this cute little paper clip and the um, doily as well. Um, and then, Ronnie, she signed a book for me there too. And then here, we've got this. This was just super cute. I love it. Little ephemera holder. How cute is that? Lush, lush, lush. Full of all these bits and pieces of ephemera. Just amazing. Just amazing. Um, and... Well, everybody just loved having all these lovely bits. I'm going to take that one next again, bent. All these lovely bits and pieces um, to bring home. And like I say, I've managed to fill an entire little memory book now with all these gorgeous things from the lovely ladies that came 
um, and just nice to have my own little book signed from everybody and I've got this lovely um, altered paper clip and then there's a envelope there so we had like a, a, a paper bag from Jez and then this lovely altered envelope and the, the uh, bookmark um, and that was Emma's mum who signed under there who made us this lovely uh, coaster and oh of course and this gorgeous tag which I believe also came from um, Lucy so she, there we are she signed by there for me with this lovely um, journal card inside this is really like thick as well it's, it's, it's lovely to hold on to so there we go and then is there anything else in the back or oh, was I think that was it nope I think that was it oh no there isn't here we are and then I had a lovely journal card then as well which I popped into my big pocket at the back and that was from Judas so there we go we had just so much stuff oh and then <laughs> this became the highlight then of the afternoon because in the afternoon autumn came and she did um stamping and stenciling with coffee oh my gosh the ladies loved it unfortunately i wasn't able to take part because i had to then zip into the other room and get the schedule done for the club which starts in two days please don't forget guys um and obviously to chat through a couple of things with angela did a little interview we'll be popping that up as a short later on so make sure you don't miss that um but yeah, so that was amazing, her workshop. The ladies really, really loved that. And then I want to show you very quickly, on the Sunday then, Jez did a workshop for us. And she showed us heaps and heaps and heaps of ways in which we can use our napkins. So she brought a load of napkins. Uh, one of the, the tips that she showed us was ironing it onto freezer paper, which we've done here. So I've kept that nice and safe. To use when I get my journal together but she also showed us a couple of other techniques so the one that we did we left it to um, soak overnight but I've been a bit of a cretin because I've put mine one on top of the other and they've stuck on top of each other so they were they were done on um, cereal liners with Mod Podge but they have now stuck together. So I'm not going to attempt to peel them apart because it is going to damage them otherwise. Um, so I'm going to make tags with these and then they'll just have to be doubled. But yeah, so that was one. I did have two of them there, but oh, it's really smelly. <laughs> it's, I've got not got a very good sense of smell since COVID, but even I can smell um, the strong scent of glue that's coming off there. Oh, I might be able to pull that apart there actually. Wait a second. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Are they going to separate? Yep, they might do. Oh, here we are. Happy days, because I was a bit disappointed by that. Is it going to... But what we were saying was... Oh, no, it's not going to part properly. No, I'm going to leave it. It was um, better to do with watered-down PVA um, and to, like, leave it. But what I did do, I did do some with the um, plain side of the napkin, um and i made them into little bags so they're like faux glassine bags and so they've got this really um like old feel texture to them um but obviously they're slightly they're transparent because i did it with the you know just the waist of the napkin um but i turned them into a little bag and i put uh, one of the collage pages sorry guys about hiccups um out of the um the kit to line the inside because otherwise they would stuck, have stuck together like this. So now they've just stuck to this paper instead. And I think they look quite cute. And then I used Christine scissors then just to, you know, what do you call it? Thing at the top. Um, and there's another one there. So again, I just think they look really, really cute. And they just feel nice. But they do smell gluey. Um, and we also did some then on some book pages and we um, we put them through the, uh, you know, uh, the big shot. <laughs> what I was looking for? Embossed them, embossed them. And then we backed them then with some um, Amazon packaging paper. 
So these are going to be some nice little journal cards and some pockets. And I've also made a tag. Well, I haven't cut that straight. I need to sort that out. Um, and I was just starting to do some ink in then when I had to tidy up and clear it away. So I will finish these this week. But I really enjoyed that project. So we had a lot of fun doing that with Jez. She gave us lots and lots of ideas. Um, yeah, I definitely think I will put that onto some paper, make them into some tags. Um, and they're just going to be really pretty. Um, but yeah, shame about that, that they got stuck together. That was me rushing to put them away. I was so tired on the Sunday, mainly due to the late nights that I'd had. And also, because um, Steph and I got up really, really early and went for a walk the first day, which was lovely. Now, last by no means least, I also treated myself to some stuff from Bella's shop we always have a little shop there and um at the end there when she'd finished i did go and have a little look see what she had left and i bought a couple of things so i'm going to show you these beautiful things that my mother had made look um and we're standing in her shop so she made this lovely little needle book isn't this cute all of this been hand stitched slow stitched hand stitched yes same thing oh and i just love these fabrics She's had these a while because I used to have a couple of those. I know I used all mine up. Um, but this is just gorgeous. Um, and just really, really uh, lovely. Something nice to keep. Um, and a little stamped thing on there. So that was the first thing I got from her. Then she had some of these little pegs with fabric on them. Aren't they cute? So that's some of the fabric look out of the um, the, the journal eh? and bits of lace. And I just think these are so yummy. I love them. So I'm going to put these up on my shelf as well. And then she's put in some little scrappy bits then um, for me to carry on with my slow stitching. So I need to get my book out now and do that. Also, um, as many of you will have noticed, I'm going to take this out, sorry. Bella's been working really hard um, making lots and lots of these gorgeous little pouches. Now, she made one for me a couple of weeks ago in blue. And then she was making these grungy ones then. And I was like, ooh, I like those. So I bought this one off of her little shop. How cute are these? So I can keep that. I might put these in there, actually. Yes, I think they'll fit in there rather nicely, won't they? But it's just to keep all my little... Look, how cute are these? And my little notions and uh, my sewing bits. Nice and safe. And I'm going to put that lovely little slow stitch book in there because that is just scrummy. I love it. There we are. All nice and safely put away in there. And then she also gave me this one because I've been eyeing this up on her desk. She's so kind, my mum. So kind. And I love this one too. So Bella has been so busy. Um, look at the detail on that. Hours and hours and hours of work she's done on these. And they are just fantastic. I love them. So there we are. All Bella inspired. So thank you for that, Mum. Um, have I got anything else to show you? My gosh, I don't think I've got time to show anything else. But I know I think that is everything. Um, yeah, I think that that's everything off my desk. So all that remains for me to do is to just remind you all we have a collaboration starting the day after tomorrow. So on the 15th. And it will be starting with myself and Angela. And we will be working with, let me just grab the top page here, um, our lovely kit, a garden story it's called. We've got a collaboration kit out. Half of the kit is in my shop. Half of the kit is in Angela's shop. Um, and they are available for you to go there and to download right now. And if you get them this week, they are 40% off. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go and get yourselves ready. We've got an amazing lineup. We've got some more new channels for you. Some more big new channels and some more smaller new channels. Lots of people for you to support and to um, encourage as well. So I hope you have a lovely evening and I will be back with you all very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.